Good morning, visitors. Right now, coming through the Duluth Ship Canal, we have the American Mariner. The American Mariner was built in 1980 by the Bay Shipbuilding Company of Sturgeon Bay, Wisconsin. She measures 730 feet in length, 78 feet in width, and 45 feet in depth. She is powered by twin 3,500 horsepower, 20-cylinder General Motors diesel engines, which give her a top speed of 13 knots, or about 15 miles per hour. She is also equipped with a single-pitch propeller, plus 1,000 horsepower bow and stern thrusters to aid her maneuverability in port. The American Mariner has 24 hatches on her deck, which open into seven cargo holds located below deck. Each hatch covering measures 44 by 11 feet. She has a maximum carrying capacity of 37,300 tons. Above her deck is a 250-foot self-unloading boom, which allows her to unload her own cargo at a rate of 6,000 tons per hour without the aid of shoreside equipment. The American Mariner is owned by American Steamship Company of Williamsville, New York, and operated by the Grand River Navigation. The American Mariner was the ninth of ten vessels built for the American Steamship Company under the Merchant Marine Act of 1970. This act allowed U.S leads to modernize most common of ship signal exchanges, known as the Captain Salute. Today, the American Mariner is coming in to unload limestone at Greymont. If you see any crew on board, give them a big wave and welcome them back to Duluth. After they unload their limestone at Greymont, we are suspected that they will be leaving for two harbors to load iron ore pellets. The American Mariner is one of the only current American vessels that has traversed the Welland Canal. Most American vessels are too big to travel through the locks there. She transports many cargoes from iron ore pellets to coal, grain, and limestone. In recent years, she has regularly loaded grain here in Duluth Superior. Once again, the American Mariner was built in 1980 by the Bay Shipbuilding Company of Sturgeon Bay, Wisconsin. She measures 730 feet in length, 78 feet in width, and 45 feet in depth. She's powered by twin 3,500 horsepower, 20-cylinder General Motors diesel engine, which give her a top speed of 13 knots, or about 15 miles per hour. She's also equipped with a single pitch propeller, plus 1,000 horsepower bow and stern thrusters to aid her maneuverability in port. <laughs> 